So the CDR is reading much nicer. So let's try to boot this. In general, I was a big fan of CD rewritables. For me, burning so many test CDs, it was a huge savings in CDRs to throw away. By the way, here is again the 222 character should be enough for everyone problem. That is fixed in the latest release of T2. Let's try directly pressing C for the CD boot. And we have grubs, so that part works. And in contrast to the initially PowerPC64 boot, this was also dot .11. The PowerPC64 boot was dot .10 or so. And as you can see, the boot ISO is now converted to GRUB24, PowerPC and PowerPC64. And one thing I'm curious about is that in earlier times, the uh, Radeon graphic worked flawlessly. And in the last years, there were some regressions regarding um, command buffer stuff with AGP, apparently mostly AGP uh, coherency or something. And I'm also curious if that works again or if that is still a regression that doesn't still not work. I will do some custom trickery here because I have full disk encryption on this. So either I do we have Yeah we missed some shared library. <clears throat> so I quickly check how I'm going to test install this. Actually maybe I simply install it on the swap partition. Um, not to waste my primary system, this is always the problem of people who have really many test installs to do. Or otherwise I could use an external firewire hard drive. It's still empty here, this is undetected space. Or blank medium. Hmm. Maybe I restored a smaller hard drive on this and copied it directly with DD. That I have unused space here. Could of course... Maybe this undetected is a crypto partition. Probably have to update the installer also to list crypto partitions. Or maybe we create a file system then on HDA7 for the test. What should we test today? This also means we successfully booted set standard compressed init RD on PowerPC as well. And these are also set standard compressed. You can see there set standard, and I kid you not, this is a 1.2 GHz 7447 G4. So let's see. Yesterday, with set standard, the test installation on the G5 was quite fast, and I indeed have the feeling that it is way faster now with set standard. Obviously, compresses way faster than the extremely old and ancient BSEP2. So, old stuff is not always better, as you can see with set standard. And I will probably also in the future make more changes to T2. I think I will build the packages without documentation. I will probably introduce a new documentation configuration switch that defaults to off. So most people are not using the documentation anyway and rather search the internet. So I will probably decrease ISO size and system install size and installation time by removing the documentation by default. In contrast to the PowerPC64 test installation, this is a minimal XORG configuration. The PowerPC was a just minimal without XORG, so we have some basic X to test the Radeon 2D, 3D acceleration regression I was talking about. And I guess we will have the same GRUB2 regression or imperfection that we saw on the G5 the other day, I guess they yeah, grub not found, I will have to tweak their something. So we will manually edit the booting in grub2, just like we did on the G5 the other day for the test booting. And then we also will try to quickly start X and see how this is going. Here, this is this is install system. So let's quickly 
change this, we installed to set root equals this. Or did I, which did I format? Okay, doesn't matter so much. We get something, but we have an awesome mouse without additional mouse button. So, but maybe this is a good sign. I think the last time it did not work that much. Or no, it does not look good. Yeah, so that still looks like. The regression is still there in regards to 2D and 3D acceleration. That is, of course, set. So I rebooted and with the driver option, no acceleration, we are running. So much for people always telling me I should subscribe to Debian ports and whatsoever from subscribing to email lists, bugs are not fixed and I rather just fix something then discuss forever on a mailing list for a week or month about something that I should just debug. But this is slightly more complex to debug. And um, some years ago I already read that some people had success with specifying some AGP mode to off or PCI or something. However, I tried this and it didn't work some years ago. So need to check what's up with this. And um, so yeah, if you hope someone else fixes some regressions then you often can hope quite a long time, but I will hunt this after the P3 enablement and other things. I only wanted to test boot PowerPC 32-bit and as we found out we mostly only have GRUB2 stuff to fully implement and then we are soon good to go with new releases and I will anyway publish this either already for people who want to have already something to play with and again thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. So some Debian Vicky says AGP mode equals minus one for PCI. So last time I checked this, it didn't have any effect for me. Let's see. Let's see what happens today. So far, maybe. No, no, it's locked up. As I already remembered, this PCI thing. But no, hmm, something restarted. Or, but as I remembered, yeah, something is trying to restart or something. Or, but as I remembered, this didn't work. So last time it doesn't know. So yeah, this regression really needs to be fixed eventually. That is really annoying. Obviously, very annoying if your graphic is not accelerated and running stable. And this is also the set thing. This was fully working perfectly, and with all this kernel mode setting whatsoever came as changes it doesn't work anymore and uh, yeah it was this was fully working this cube suspend resume everything every smallest bit and piece and detail and i find this really annoying others celebrate this on foronics and such yay new code yay old support deleted and such but i personally find this ever changing regressions quite a pain in the ass and um, in my opinion i would much prefer a microkernel where this graphic stuff doesn't hang the, all the rest of the system and can be reloaded and the best would of course also be if this would be more modular components that can run more independently of kernel updates because all this huge monolith thing where we only have regressions is with ten thousands of drivers getting slightly out of hand. Another small bonus update. Here with a cube. Following my own advice, only putting working machines back on the shelf, I continued to play with this a minute longer after the lunch break. And I actually have X running here with what I think looks like accelerated. At least the log also says 
beside many attempts to add input devices named PTY, what, pseudo terminals or whatever. Um, that's of course also the funny thing. Render 1.2 enabled, ignore the following render disabled message, but whatever. So we have here textured video, XVMC and XR, driver registered support for the following operation. So DRY2, render acceleration enabled. And here yeah, I think this looks like it should be accelerated. Driver of a little XR picks not in VRAM. So, and the thing I changed now was not the AGP thing, which right now is minus one, but I will reboot in a second to see if this AGP thing makes a difference. So what made the difference was some enable or disable. Here's some white back thing. Ah, where is it? Ah, no. Hmm. Of course, what usually is enable, disable, enable, and whatsoever is now named no. Underscore white back and that is some. Um, where is it readable? And so this is disable AGP right back for scratch registers. And with this, right now it works. As you see, this is scrolling quite fast, not yet locked up. Nothing in the message. So let's reboot. I changed mod probe additionally to. What is. Where is my. Was it locked up now? Okay, now it's locked up. That didn't last long, did it? Hmm. Okay, so one more reboot. Maybe it's not yet entirely stable as it hang some minutes ago. But with this no right back thing, it is for the AGP scratch registers, it is for sure way more stable. Without this, it locks up immediately. With this, it's running most of the time. So at least there is hope that this can be fixed. But of course, again, it's said that in so many years, nobody else properly fixed this. And yeah, no D messages. And I wanted to... No font to load. Uh, okay, let's see what else we need to emerge for black box. So emerging some more fonts and such to have a slightly more fancy window manager running to really test this acceleration stuff. Yeah, that still doesn't work very long. There's still way more research and debugging needed for this stuff to work.